Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and today we're going to be using the iFixit guide to install a new replacement battery in the iPhone 4S. So here's my iPhone 4S. There's the replacement battery. Thanks, iFixit.com. And we're going to walk through this process and uh, see how quickly we can do this. So here are the tools I'm going to be using. This is a uh, Phillips head. It's a, I think it's a double O screwdriver. Um, some of the uh, newer iPhones actually have a proprietary uh, screw on the end there, so you can get um, from iFixit an actual, uh, I think it's called a pentalobe screwdriver that will take out the proprietary screws. We have a couple of spudgers here, metal one and a plastic one, and obviously the battery. And this is something that I love using whenever I take apart things. This is a egg carton that I've labeled with, uh, and this is where you can put all the different screws in that you take out as you use the iFixit guide. So each time you go through, there are screws you remove, you put them in the egg carton, and it's a lot easier to do. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you have to do obviously is power down your iPhone. So we're going to do that and then we're going to remove some of the screws from the bottom. So we'll wait till it powers down. Okay, so now that we've powered off the iPhone, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two screws that are right in here. Okay, so we're going to undo these screws right here. Sorry about the focus. My uh, camera isn't very happy about being this close. So here we go. First screw. Take it off. We'll store it in the uh, first container. And then we'll do that with the next one. Some people wanted to see all this stuff live. I usually take this stuff out and then do a picture of what's going on, but we're gonna actually try and walk through this live now. So we got the 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 two screws out there again. Sorry about the focus. Let's see if we can zoom out there. So then the next step according to the iFixit guide is to simply push this rear panel forward to the top. It's gonna move just a little bit. So I just did that. You see it opened it up right there. So I'm going to slide it back, show you. So ready? Open like that. And then what you can do once you have that is you actually can open up the iPhone. So here we go. And that's the back off. So here you can see that big thing right there that takes up most of the iPhone, that's actually the battery. So that's what we're going to be replacing right now. Okay, I had to stop the video just so that I could uh, get all this stuff out here. So this is the back. We're going to put that aside. This is the new battery and the old battery. And basically what we're going to do at this step, and this is pretty easy, we're almost done believe it or not, is we are going to remove just a couple of little screws here. So the screws that we're going to remove, oh, let's see if we can zoom in here, is this one here and this one here. And they are different sizes so be sure that you take out the proper one and store it in the proper place. So we're gonna do that right now. So let's see if I can uh, get in here and just uh, do that stuff. So first we're gonna remove this one. It's kinda hard to see it from far away. And you get it out. Sometimes it helps having some tweezers to pull it out. And I'm going to store it in uh, my egg carton. And then we're going to remove this one right here. Okay. And we're going to take this one out as well and put that in the egg carton. So now you can see that these two screws have been removed and the next step is to use one of these uh, spudgers or plastic opening things and we're going to pry up 
um, this little connector right here. So we're going to do that in just a second. Okay, so we're going to slowly and carefully pop this connector. So what we're doing is we're basically, uh, let's see if I could slide this up so everyone can see it. This is the new battery here. We're basically popping up this little piece off of the old battery. So you have to just be very careful because there are lots of little pieces in here. And there we go. So we got that up. Then the next step is actually to pry up the um, battery itself. Now there's some adhesive in the on the back side of the battery um, that holds it down. So sometimes this takes a little bit of effort but I'm going to slowly work my way along and try and pry it up. It does take a little bit of work and you don't want to damage anything. Okay, so like I was saying, sometimes these uh, little things break, so the end of my spudger broke, so I'm going to use a, another one or use a, a metal one that I have here. But basically what you want to do is pry up the sides here and then you can use this little thing that's uh, attached underneath the battery to pop it up. So let's see if the adhesive is, uh, it's pretty strong. So it's bending my plastic one. So I'm going to move over to a metal one and just very carefully, there we go. So I recommend the metal one if you have one. And then we'll try a little bit on the other side. Let's see if it'll lift up yet. Nope. You really want to do this very delicately. We almost have it. There we go. Okay, so there's the old battery. We've got it out. And we're going to put it aside and put in the new one. So here's the new one. We're just popping it back down in place here. And all that we have to do is just attach this little bit right here and put the screws in and we're pretty much done. It's that simple. So let's be sure that everything's in place here and it's uh, lining up properly. So here we go. Sometimes it's a little hard to see. All right, so this snaps right in, and then we have to go and get our different screws. And what we have to do is put them back in the same way that we did it before. So, but just in reverse. So I'm gonna take one of the really small ones that was up at the top and try and put it in. This is where it's sometimes helpful if you have a magnetic screwdriver or something like that because these screws are so incredibly small it's really hard to put them in sometimes sometimes I'll put them just hold them with my finger and we'll put them we'll hold it and put it right in to the top I didn't quite get it that time so let's see if I can also helps if you don't drink a lot of coffee there we go, so we got that one lined up. I'm just going to screw that in. Oh, and something just popped off. So we're going to take a time out here and take a look at what little black clip popped off. So you probably, you probably saw in that last video that something popped off and it's this little black clip and it was connected down in there so I need to actually take off that screw and put the the uh, the screw that little black connector back into um, right about here so that it, it's properly aligned so you gotta watch for all the little parts okay so I had to do a little bit of uh, research to figure out what direction this little grounding piece has to go so basically this is the direction you want to have it the black side is up and you want it to go in let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit yep. it's not zooming alright so 
you want to have it go actually right on the top up there so let me point to it so basically it's going to be the way it was positioned but up on the top there so the blacks facing up and then we'll put it in right there so I'm actually going to go and try and do this from the other side hopefully it'll work so then once you get it in there and this is a little tricky we're going to put it right on top there be sure that you don't lose this stuff I usually, usually uh, do all my work over a on a towel so that everything's padded and soft so then what we're going to do is try and position it and snap that piece back in so that we can uh, put the screws on so there we go and that piece you can see it's sitting right there and if you line it up properly you'll see that the screw will go right down into there so I'm going to grab the screw just tiny like we said and I'm going to try and put it right there and then I'm going to screw it in this is where I'm glad I didn't have too much coffee today this is pretty up oh, so I popped that little thing out again you can see how delicate all this stuff is so I'm going to try and do it this way so there's the screw and the little ground thing and hopefully I can line them up alright so that's in and the little ground thing isn't moving so now we can go and grab the next screw and we're gonna put that screw right in there and I'm just gonna check to be sure yep that all looks good so then I'm gonna screw that in right there so we got that down and that's pretty much the hard part so you just make sure everything's flat and then we're going to be putting the the back of the iPhone back on so remember it was just flattening it down pop it in and then we're gonna simply put in those last two screws at the bottom there so just make sure that you uh, screw those in so let's see I'm gonna grab those screws and have them available there's one let's see there's one there's the other one so Apple has definitely made this a lot easier than uh, with the 3GS which you can uh, see me doing that that battery install video on my YouTube channel which is shown on the screen here um, so we're basically gonna try and put these guys in I'm gonna usually it's a little bit easier if I don't have to film it but uh, since I'm trying to film it for you guys uh, it's a little bit harder so no I'm gonna have to pick it up but just uh, you put the screws into this area here and it, it should be pretty easy to do so let's see I'll try it this way there's one yeah so anyway Apple's made it a lot easier with the iPhone 4s so here's the last one and normally you could probably do this in about 15 minutes or less if you really walk through the steps carefully and know what you're doing this is the first time I had done it with uh, the iPhone 4S. I've done it with the 4 and the 3GS. And that's pretty much it. 
So we got it there. So anyway, let's power it on and see if this works. So I turned on the power. Looks like the apple's coming up, which is a good sign. Um, and if you guys have any questions about how this is done, you can ask me on Twitter, and I'm at High Tech Dad, or you can visit my website, which is www.hightechdad.com, or you can uh, ask me on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash HTD blog. Anyway, it's taken a while to boot up, but I'm pretty sure everything's going to be good. If it wasn't put in right, I don't think it would start up. And there it is. All booted up. Thanks for watching.